So I've now got teleportation technology, at least until I decide whether or not I'm going to join Sean in the Institute. It doesn't feel right at the moment, but I am going to give it a chance. I'm going to check out this Corsa. However, whilst I've actually got the teleportation technology, there are a few things I just want to quickly buzz around and sort out, including Nord Nordhagen Beach and that set of power armor with the X01 pieces, which I'm hoping are the pieces I'm missing. I'm missing one of the pieces for the leg. I think it's the right leg and the left arm. Codsworth? I think I'm the same. Am I the same color as Codsworth? No, he's silver. For some reason, you look a little green in this light. You look a little green. You know what? I'm thinking it's time for a change of color as well. Yes, I do. So anyway, right. So, I'm going... What I'm thinking of doing here is... Traveling to Fort Strong, picking up the power armor, then calling in on Nordhagen Beach, reporting the good news to them, and then sorting them out. Oh, mind you, I have to set up, um, I have to set up a supply, mind you, the thing is, is I've got, this is, this is it, I've, I've got teleportation. I can teleport to County Crossing, which now has 14 people, and set up a trade route there. Yes, indeed. I need to bring back the power armor to the castle. Yeah, okay. Here's the thing. Rather than bring a follower with me that can take the power armor, I'm going to drop my power armor at the castle. I'm then going to teleport out to Fort Strong and then pick up the power armor, give the good news to Nordhagen, and then teleport off back to the castle and then go and set up so, good grief girl. the thing is the teleporter works like this I activate it and it sends me to the institute Zoom. I've just teleported which is very cool I then Use the teleporter again, and go to the castle. Now, logic says, you could just teleport straight to the castle. But it doesn't. If you go straight to the castle, you don't teleport. It does the normal fast travel. Which me Oh. Okay, that was weird. That was very, very weird indeed. Yeah. Okay. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Is that because I teleported? Thing is, is if I travel normally, if I travel normally, what actually happens is, well, time passes and I run there. That's what fast travel's supposed to be, isn't it? It's supposed to be me, Frank, running across the map with my brain switched off. And you don't teleport, you, you, you don't get the fancy teleportation thing. What a different... I mean, if I teleported to Fort Strong right now, it wouldn't, I wouldn't get the teleport, so I, I haven't teleported. And I know that may be the World. most insane thing you've ever heard. But if I don't go back to the Institute between each Excuse jump... Me. I've got reports to deliver. I'm going to feel like I didn't teleport and just ran there. 4.14. Does, does time pass when I teleport? 4.14 p.m. Let's test this out. 4.14. Because time does pass when you normally fast travel. Not much, but it does... God, I just realised... Don't seem to have any hostiles. Okay, um, 
Four minutes. Four minutes. That's not much, I suppose. That's actually very little time. Whereas if I fast travel, I think... A l I actually think it's like an hour or something would have passed. Probably a bit more. I, d I don't know for sure. I might be making that up. Ah, well. Never mind. Um... Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Right! Okay, so let's go and pick up... I think it's over there. Let's go and pick up the other suit of armor. Oh, it's the Pridwin. Okay, do we have mines? I don't think so. And then report to the... I think it's called Nordhagen Beach. Alright, what pieces have we got? We have got... Right leg, right arm, left arm, torso. I think that's what I need. I think I need the... Okay. Okay. All right. yes, yes, I need, um... Fusion. went through a great deal of trouble to fortify this place. Which place? Oh, Fort Strong. Hmm? It's a fort. One of the reasons they call forts forts is they're fortified. Sir, Actually, it's probably the other way around. Unstoppable in that. Okay, right, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, so we've got the armor. Now let's get to the beach. So... I'm insane, aren't I? I am actually insane. For uh, for not teleporting straight there. I mean, I mean that's what I should. It just it, it isn't the same. I, I'll know it in my head. I will know it. I will know I didn't teleport. I will know that I just ran and didn't teleport, and it will always upset me. Yeah, this is, um, this is a bit of a crap hole, isn't it, really? Yes. Okay. Anyway. Oh, and they've got a kid. Hi. I'm looking for trouble, I hope. Yes? Um. Hello? Were you able to clear out those calls? Yes, 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 I did. Yes, I did. Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? I did. Great news. It is, isn't it? Bella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. All we right. Talk to Preston Garvey. Okay, so we've got to tell Preston Garvey that we have succeeded here. Right, now. Let's just double check. Okay, so we've got a settlement. We've got the armor. Now we're going to teleport back. Okay. We're going to teleport back to the castle. By the Institute. I know that is going to irritate a lot of people. It's going to irritate me, but otherwise... I know I have to sort of... I should test it out oh, once, just to see if the same amount of time gets travelled. But, um... Yeah. Okay, that is more like Let's it. Look at that. I think blue is a good colour for me. I mean... Piper calls me blue. It gives me charisma, so I've now got charisma 11. It means a slight reduction in strength, which means less loot carrying. But now that I've got teleportation, well, I may be able to abuse that a little bit. I did actually do some testing. I did some testing. I, I fixed a few things up around this place as well, because uh, there were a few extra settlers. But I did some testing. Fast travel is... It takes a few hours. If you fast travel, even to a close place, um, you know, from here to, to here, isn't it? it takes a couple of hours. Whereas it takes a few minutes if I teleport to the Institute. So teleporting to the Institute is quicker in game time. Much quicker. So it is. If you want to teleport, you have got to go via the Institute. So 
Okay, excuse me. Now, one last thing. Where was Garvey? Before I teleport out of here. Where the hell is He's over there. I've got Garvey patrolling the, um... The walls. That's one of the changes I made. I decided he should be patrolling the walls. I put another one of these up so that we actually had three of them. I figured he should be patrolling the walls. He should. He was farming. That just seems wrong. Okay, we'll put this back together. Better than that ever. Seems wrong. Okay. What now? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Okay. That's it. That always freaks me out a little bit. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so we finished that one. What else did I do? Um, I changed some of the wiring, actually. I did. I noticed that the beacon, the recruitment Is this beacon. A time for that talk? With, what do you want to talk? What? Uh, what, what talk? I understand and I appreciate the trust you... We've had this conversation, mate. Understood. And I appreciated your trust in opening up to me like We've that. had this oh, conversation. Good. I guess I was more coherent than I thought. It's just... I was ready to give up. I didn't care if I lived or died anymore. At least not for myself. And it was because of you and who you are. We've had this conversation. Around for me. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Again. Um... Our friendship means yeah, a lot to me. We definitely have this conversation, mate. I hope you know that. I do. I wouldn't have said all that to just anybody, okay. you know. I guess we should get back to it, huh? Yeah. It's pretty. It's left of it. So yeah, uh, nothing major, nothing major. The the recruitment beacon I placed over there. And the reason for it was I was actually using it as a pylon. And if you turn it off, some of the defenses over there would be switched off. Which seemed a bit daft. So I moved that. What else did I do? I made some small changes inside my workshop area. Eh? I now have armor, power armor. I've got a chest with my armor in it and other pieces of armor for the settlement. I have power armor pieces there. My armor bench. Weapons. Weapon chest. Um, miscellaneous. Bombs and grenades, and oh, and grenades is actually, um, actually, we should, we should, I kind of want to test that. I've got, um, throwing arc now. I, I took a perk in explosives. I've got the second rank. I now have a throwing arc. We should, we should, we should definitely test that. We should test that. Let's, um, plasma grenade. Cryo grenade. I want something that's just um synth relay grenade. No, I don't ever want to use those. Uh fragmentation grenade. Let's take Oh, let's take a few actually. Let's 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 take a few grenades. I wanna check it out. Where in it? No, I just took a bunch of mines, didn't I? Was that Fragmentation Mines? That was Fragmentation Mines. I don't actually want Fragmentation Mines. I never plant them. I never do plant them. Alright, we've got seven Fragmentation Grenades. Let's test one of them. Mind you, I can actually cancel a throw. I can actually cancel a throw. I have to open my pit boy. Let's just get far enough away that if something goes wrong, I don't... Okay. Oh, very cool. Okay, that is very cool. So I can see exactly where the grenade's going to land. So and I think was... if I... Yeah, okay, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right, so next thing we need to do is we need to set up a supply train to Nordhagen Beach. So we're going to go to County Crossing... I was thinking maybe I could actually... No, 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 no. I could actually run from County Cross into there rather than teleport. But honestly, it takes minutes to do the teleporting. Yes, it does. I can arrive there with still lots of great sunlight. I'm kind of glad that's the case. I know this is going to sound really odd to people. 256. I know this is going to sound really odd, but I'm glad... 
that the teleportation via um, CIT is different to the fast travel around. Because it... Okay, where the hell did we... Yes, it, it is. I mean, it's massively faster. Okay, I'm glad, though, because that's what I have to do. I know it's insane being glad about that, but I am. Okay, let's have a look. I need a volunteer. Oh, I've left it on him. I left it on him. Never mind. That's what you've got. You've got a shotgun. You've got a bloody good shotgun, though, mate. It's a bloody good one. I will find you at some point. I'm going to find all of my provisioners at some point and, and kit them out better. Uh, but I just don't have time right now. I am now wanting to set you on a supply line to um, Nordhagen Beach. Okay, brilliant. So, who else have we got? You. I'm going to sign... Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. You are assigned to that now. Sure. That needs assigning. You're assigned. Right, let's just assign everyone who's doing nothing. You know, I could have sworn it said 15 people earlier. The numbers on these things are completely and utterly useless. 12 people. Okay. Unless I've lost some since getting here. Well, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to plant some more crops. I want to be able to get at least 20. Now that we've got mute fruit. Okay, if we get one more settler, he can come in and start producing another six food. That will be 20, 24. Which will be easily enough for 20 settlers. I've got enough beds. 20 beds. Not enough water. Why don't I have enough water? I've got a few pumps. Ah, because I've only got the small version of this. Um, should I scrap it? Rubbers? No. Or, instead, upgrade to the big one. Yes, indeed. Oh, look at that. We have got a lot of forge. Do I have copper, rubber? Oh, God, I've got so many resources now. Oh, please tell me that's actually going to go. Okay, brilliant. That will produce 40. Oh, you know what? That's a lot, isn't it? Hmm. Am I actually going to be able to... Have I got enough power? I don't have enough power. I'm going to need a bit more defense as well. Let's have a look. Oh, right. That's why I couldn't build more things. I... Right. I should have... I've been picking up gears galore now. I should have easily enough to make loads new power. But yes, look at that. 217 bloody gears. <laughs> I've just been picking up so many things with gears. Um, right. Oh, God. That's enough power, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to need some more. And um, I think it's time to move these power armors out of the way. Okay, they'll be okay there. I'm, I'm kind of collecting power armor frames at the castle. I kind of want to move those two. We may move them while we've got the teleporter. Yes, we might. Um, I'm wondering, can I command settlers to get in power armor? Probably not, but... No. <laughs> um, I can command followers. Like I can finally think straight. Sheff Sheffield, hello! Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my Right! Liver. I sent him out here. Okay, so he's actually technically a settler now. And I've assigned him as... He's, he's a tinker, scrapper, whatever you call it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to close the gate. Night seems to be falling. Okay, so we've now got more than enough water. We've got more than enough food. We've got exactly the right amount of beds. 
Actually, we've got more water than we'll ever need. I'm thinking of removing some, just because the more water we get... Well, water we can sell, but it also attracts pain, I believe. See, now my water and my food total is going to be like 60 plus. I'm thinking I want to get the defense up as well. I really do. I think I'd like the defense to get... Honestly, close to 200. Um, I've heard all sorts of rumors of what the number needs to be. But I'm not completely convinced it's right. Okay, should I use a large one? This... this produces 10 whereas that produces 5 but honestly I, I, I sort of feel like I can fit these in two of those in the same space as this I'm wondering how much and, and they, they're not as tall either and I kind of like the not as tall element of it I really do okay is it me or is it? Oh, it's it's tra it doesn't want to get up on the um, trash. Okay. Got one in there, so oh god. That's okay, one. I don't know, I just I like this idea more. So that's 10 more power. That is 10 more power. That should allow me to get a few more turrets up and going. I've got enough. I think I've got enough. It's getting dark. I always like looking at the place in the dark. For some reason, the lights don't seem to be working. I don't quite get that. Although, I do seem to have spotlight coverage everywhere. That's the good thing. Oh, why are the spotlights not spotting? Okay. Another spotlight there. Spotlights are technically, from a numerical point of view, a total waste. Oh, finally, a light. Um, I wonder what the history lesson you get two defense and it requires power. You'd be better off building lasers. But I love spotlights. Well, I would if they were actually spotlighting. All right, we're going to put another spotlight up there, I think. I want and one here. All right, I want some spotlights on this side to highlight this area. Yes, I do. And I want some more laser turrets. Yeah, that's fine. And it covers all the way over there. All right, we got good coverage now. We've got good coverage with the spotlights. He says... And yes, I am aware it's absolutely and utterly meaningless, and I don't care. Who knows, one day maybe it will be meaningful. But even if it's not, still don't care. I want my spotlight coverage yes. to be right. Let's have a look how this looks. See? Let me look! It's awesome! Okay, not quite enough power. No, I just need a little more. That's 190 defense. We got a shotgun. I've left it low. I'm not totally sure how good that is, but if things come running in, they're going to get shotgun straight to the chest. Let's put it just a little around there so it's got... No line of sight outside. We want it so that when people come through here, it's like, bam. So that's 190. Now, my food could be about 20. Water's going to be 43. That's 63. I say three times that would be 189. Which means we've now got three times that. I think that should be enough defense. I honestly think that should be enough defense. This place is now ridiculously well defended it's got spotlights it's got turrets it has got everything it needs it has no creature comforts yet 
I haven't even added lights. Yeah. I haven't even added lights. All I'm doing at the moment, as uninspiring as it might be, is trying to make sure my settlements don't get attacked. Now, they've not been attacked for quite some time since I've been cranking the defense up. I did have one place attacked that was 130. In fact, I think it was 150 when it got attacked. So I'm trying this. I'm trying to keep the value three times what is there. Now how many... We've still got 12 people. However, we've we've now got... Are you certain I'm the man for the job, sir? Oh. Okay. I don't think I put the right fusion code in. I've now got... No, I didn't. It always puts... It always puts a fresh one in. Um, we've got this place secure, which was pretty much all I wanted to do. And now it's time to move to Nordhagen. And we're going to teleport there. Yes, we are. I'm enjoying that. Sir, you'll be unstoppable in that. Okay. Still don't want to play chicken with the Brahmin. One of the great things about teleporting backwards and forwards here is unique reporter's pen. Is that, um... <laughs> I'm getting the opportunity to take a lot of what I believe will be very useful components for my settlements. It's kind of a good job there are not a thousand and one uh, cameras around this place. Otherwise, I would have been arrested a long time ago. But you know what? Considering my suspicions about this place are fairly um, well confirmed at this moment, I feel this is possibly the least <laughs> that the Institute can do. With regards to reparations. Okay, I am completely and utterly overladen now. <laughs> with little gadgets and things. They're gonna be they're gonna be wandering around this place thinking, where the hell's my thing? Half the stuff I've picked up, I've no idea what it does. But whatever it is, they're going to be missing it. Right, so. I have this place connected. Well, talk about making an entrance. Talk about making an entrance. <laughs> so yes, I have this place connected now. It really is a crap hole. So what we've got is... You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Well, it's... Okay, you're making gourds? Oh, okay, we, we, we can extend this. We're going to make more food. We've got a road here. We're going to need some defense against the road. But this place is a genuine hole. I mean, it really does look pretty damned awful. Actually, where's the... The boundary... Okay, the boundary, unfortunately, is right on the edge of the sea. And I say unfortunately because what I was thinking was it might be nice to build out into the sea. Build a pier. What the hell's that down there? So what I was thinking was actually a, just building down into the sea. I'm actually guessing that we might get attacked by it. And the Brotherhood's over there. And, um, but honestly, I don't think that's going to work too much. But I think I'm going to build towards the sea. I am going to build towards the sea. What can I use this place for? This is the sort of default shack. It's not going to let me take those bedrolls. I hate the fact that it won't let me take those bedrolls. That's really annoying. It really is, actually. They've got a chemistry bench. I kind of want to move everything back towards the sea. Okay, auto hockey for the fail. Right, step one, I think, is run around and clear this place. Let's get out of the power armor. 
Let's clear this place. Oh, and get a settlement be uh, beacon going. We need to get a settlement beacon going. I also need to dump a lot of stuff. Oh, that's my provisioner. That is my provisioner. The one I promised. I'll Lost get you. Of how many blisters I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't complain about being Just a Just wanted to trade a few things. Go ahead. I haven't got you a hatch yet. I have not got you a hat yet. But I picked you up a coarser uniform, which actually has armor on it. I, I, I will get better armor for you all, I think. But this looks, A, very, very cool. And B, it actually looks like it would... Um, fend off the weather quite well. You do need a hat. I need to get you a hat. Well, that looks better. You look like you're going to stay warm now and protected from the rain. Plus, it is better armoured. And you have a... You have a bloody good shotgun. This is the guy I've just sent. Can we trade a few things? Okay. See? That shotgun. Combat shotgun of the assassin. I should probably upgrade it for you as well. I will get around to that now. I think I've actually taken everything out. I'm going to leave a couple of things. I'm going to leave the boat here. Because I think it looks kind of cool. Lobster float? I have no idea what a lobster float is. Um, resource plastic. Okay, we'll take that. I'm going to leave this building here. I have no choice. There's m many parts of this that are completely and utterly um, indestructible. Indestructible? Indestructible. Are you hiding from the rain? He is actually hiding from the rain. I don't know. I'm even going to leave the plastic flamingos. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with the food area. I might leave it there. What I'm thinking at the moment is... This place is, is definitely a, a Major League crap hole. Pulling away from... The road. Having a work area over here. Maybe even put in a... Um, place filled with uh, the... Uh, 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 generators for electricity but then have a living area pushed over here. And I'm still thinking of going with a sort of tier concept. I can't go out as I wanted to. I really did, I really wanted to, to build. Actually, I can build reasonably far out there, can't I? I can probably get it. I can probably get this so, so out. In the water. That's that's what I'm going for anyway. I'm thinking of trying to build like this. Oh, that's a lot of rads. If I do that, if I do that, how deep is it? Um, I should take some rad away. I should probably get in my power armor, actually. Okay. That's, that's, okay, that's, see, see, what I'm thinking is... Oh, stop complaining, I just went in there. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Build it up and then build it out here and have a kind of pier-like effect. What do you think? That looks pretty... Yeah. And then have living quarters built up out of the water. And then we'll figure out what to do with these afterwards. But right now, I want to just get the basics of a building set up. Now, is that the angle I want to be at? Because it'll, it'll go that way. Um, oddly enough, I, I, I kind of want to get this thing reasonably flush with the road like I know this is totally insane so like that or do I see that's the question I uh, do I want it to fit with the road or the coastline I actually think I want it to fit with the coastline I think I want it to fit with the coastline yes things like this are important 
But it's not quite with the coastline, is it? No. For that, we'll need it to be like this. Okay, let's let's go with this idea. I've got a lot of wood, although not as much as I probably would like. So the question is, how much do I need? I suddenly remembered I can actually build this thing out here. Is three going to be wide enough then? I wonder. I could, of course, build an area around the outside and make it into a sort of a patio. The only problem there, of course, is it is going to require a lot more wood. This thing does use a lot of wood. So, I mean, I could actually build it sort of five wide. Have the building three wide and then have... Oh, it's, that's... I like that idea, actually. I, I may have to go off uh, buying a lot of wood, but hey, I've got teleportation technology now. So... Then what I do is I just pick this up, march it into the sea. Where's the... Right, now, I don't want to march it too far because I can't build. I just realized that, you know, there is... I'll put it like... Yeah, see, whilst I can actually build out... Uh, I can actually move this thing to there... The problem's going to be that... Okay, well, let me get down into the water. That's into the land. The problem is I won't actually be able to build on the outside edge at all. Which is not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but... It means I can't have, for example, a barrier. Which I think would be nice. I think it would be actually nice to have a sort of a barrier. I'm going to want it a little higher than that as well, I think. If I want to come out, yes. So, I realised that it was easy to do this with power armor, not just for the radiation resistance, but because I'm actually more stable in the water. So... That's looks supported. Need to, need to check the other side just to make sure we don't want the legs of our house to be resting on nothing, do we? Which is exactly what they're doing. I need it to be down a little more. There you go. That's got that last leg on. Okay, so now we want to extend this out. Will that look supported? Is the wait? What, why did that? Thank you. See, so of course, the big question is: Does it look supported underwater? Two of the legs are on either side, I think. That one's just about resting. That one's floating, but you know what? That's enough support. I want it to be that way. Okay. So we've now got the basic found. That one's... That one is floating, but I don't think there's any way of... Oh, no, I can, I can get one more there. I can get one more there. What about there? No, I don't think so. All right, well... That one's got support on the front two legs anyway, so that's that's easily enough. And then... Yeah, I'm really not going to have any walls. They're not going to have walls. You know what? Walls are for the weak. Let's have a look at that. So I've now got... A house that extends out into the river. I'm thinking of making it... Oh my god, 
did I actually count right the first time and then... No, no, there you go. I was going to make it three wide and have a kind of veranda here. But maybe have it even wider up the top. Have it overhang, maybe. Interesting idea. But to do that, I'm actually going to need to place more floors. Mind you, that will allow me to extend it out. I'm going to have to do this. And as you can see, wood is definitely the issue at the moment. So, yeah. What I want is... I don't want it there. I want these things to basically sit on top so that I can have well you see I can build walls on the edge here but I can't well that's not actually technically true technically I can have walls just floating but I do not like that idea like that you can have floating walls um it would actually work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I just... I do not like it. I mean, the thing is, is... When you come to do this, it's going to snap like that. So... I want... If I'm going to have this as a... I don't know what you would call it. Um, balcony? Not balcony. Um, the thing you walk around the house... Completely veranda, completely and utterly forgotten the word. Then I'm going to want the walls on the inside. Oh, did I forget to junk that? I think I did. Unfortunately, not wood. Now there's a lot of wood here. You know what? I could teleport. I mean, I mean, it's four wood. It's nothing, is it? I could, of course, teleport to. All of the traders and purchase some. Yes, I could. I've got teleportation technology now. Don't know if I mentioned it. <laughs> Bet you any money that's a lot. That's only 10. Yeah. Pretty much like this. Actually, I'm going to move that one to there and then have. Okay, you see? There you go. So, what I'm thinking is... Let's, let's do doors first. Do I want the door in the center? I always like central doors. And then... Well, we got a, we got a number of options for the outside walls. Depending on whether we want privacy or whether we want... I don't know. What I would actually... Here's the thing. Sometimes there are, the walls like this can be very, very cool for giving you a kind of a window effect. Um, but... Then I lose my walkway. Well, actually, do I? That's, that's, I still get some sort of walkway, don't I? I still get some sort of walkway. Hmm, interesting. See, this is what I was going to use for the overhanging parts, though, upstairs, you see. That's what I was thinking there, having some overhang parts. But I could actually have, like, this as well, so we get a little bit more... ...light at the front, which I think will be nice. Yes, I do. God, I am running out of wood. Oof. This is going to be annoying. So... Let's have a look. Should be able to put... Oh, is it not going to let me place that there? You're not going to let me place that there. Because because of the wooden door. Because of the wooden door? Probably because of the wooden door. I, ca I can actually remove the wooden door. I can actually remove the wooden door. 
and just have an open entrance, but I don't like that idea. No, I don't. All right, we'll save those for later. Then we're going for... Oh, the other thing is I can actually have... Well, walls with gaps on this side. Get a bit of light in. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's kind of what I'm looking for. That is kind of what I'm looking for. Do I want a bit of a... I think I want a little bit of a floor coming out there. Will it, will it actually let me? I bet it won't. No, it, it's kind of... It looks like it wants to snap there, but it's... That's pretty much... All it wants to do. It wants to snap it. It just isn't going to snap. Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. Mind you. Out of curiosity. Can I raise the entire thing? Uh, okay. That's... Okay. That's not quite how I want to do that. Why are you doing it like that? Don't do it like that. I just want to raise the thing. Don't bring it close to me. No, it, it's not going to let me... It's not going to let me drop it any further than that, is it? And then that's going to be floating at that end, which I don't want. Now, well, you know what? We'll live. We'll live. We've got a sandy outcrop. I don't know. Will I live? Will I live? That's the big question. Will I survive? God, that's annoying. That is going to annoy me. It is. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. That is not bad. It's... It gets wider at the back here. Oh, I'm probably going to need to block that off. It gets wider at the back, but that gives us somewhere to go fishing. That's what I'm thinking there. I don't think I'm going to have enough materials to build the second floor. I'm going to build the roof, and that's going to be it. Okay, you're not going to let me do that until I've... Yeah. Let's, let's put this in first, and then we can build that. Okay. So... The back bit's a bit narrow, but then we do get this extended area here. I may even extend it a little more with a, a half plank. It's like an overhang. Because I think that might be kind of cool for fishing. And, of course, it does. It, it needs um, a... What do they call them? The inner floors. Shack upper floor. Let's have a look. It's going to be that way to match this one. Okay. Um, we're probably just going to have enough to do this. Get a basic building up and running. I think the um, the power building is going to have to be... I'm going to go upstairs and check. I've got that right. The power building is going to have to be... Made of complete metal. I think. Okay, so. Then what I was thinking was actually having an overhang all the way around this. I think you can do that, even though I've got an overhang underneath as well. Um, it would be walls and these, for example. I think you can... Can you? Will it... Will it Yes, it will. It will. It will do that. So that ex that allows us to have more light. Will it look weird having a double overhang? I think it will. I think it will. I think probably it will. What I may do instead is build some normal walls in the corner and then have. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build sort of. I'm not going to do it now because of materials. I lack the materials. So I'll, I will build something like this in the corners, and only the corners, and then there I will have 
the, uh, the, the small barriers and then a normal roof. And then we're going to have beds up here. Um, do I want defences here as well? It's going to be noisy. But we've got a, a large area for them to, to, to bunk out in. Yes, we do. Oh, I'll tell you what I was going to do, which I've failed to do. I'll tell you what, I can get out of the power armor now. I was also going to set up a radio beacon. So we attract new settlers whilst I'm doing this. Okay, let's just get that set up over here for now. Okay, we got a new settler already. A new settler, really? Oh my god, that was quick. Okay, well, we've got a new settler. This is good. I'm probably going to assign you to... Oh, I know what I'm going to assign you to. Before I forget it, I like to have artillery coverage. I don't know where I'm going to place this, but for now, let's place it right there. You can... Go there. Okay. Okay, so I, I now actually have some defense. I have no beds, but I do want some power. I've built a concrete platform. This place is actually really big. So I'm going to have the main building over here, and I can have the power station over here. The big problem being that I've then got everything spread out. I've got the food, the workshop bench is over there, but I'm not totally sure it matters a huge amount. I really don't. I mean, Sanctuary is massively spread out. This doesn't actually look like the sort of place that's going to get attacked a huge amount. So what I'm thinking now is just plain, bog, basic um, metal walls. Nothing fancy. As little... Oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm almost out of wood. <gasps> I'm almost out of wood. I'm actually thinking maybe I'll skip the walls for now. I can skip the walls for now. Yes, indeed. Um, let's get some wires going from there to the house to start with. And then let, let's get the essentials going. That's going to need... We See, this all needs... Well, this doesn't need wood. Okay. Okay. Right, beds next. Let's get, let's get the essentials sorted for now. We can get creative in a while. I think... I don't know how many beds I'm going to want. I don't know how fast this one will grow. I think we should just try and get a... I think we go for 20 just in case we don't come back for a while. It's not going to be absolutely tons of fun here. It is going to very much look like a dormitory. But... When you think of the alternatives, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, if you look at the crap all they were listening, living in already, I mean, all things considered, they were sleeping on mattresses on the floor in a broken building right next to the road with no actual roof over their head. So really, this is a massive step up. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's not brilliant, but I mean, honestly, it's... I was about to say it's got a nice view, but of course this is a radioactive river. Well, still. I'm going to put some barriers on so they don't fall off. But that's... There's still three beds there which they're going to use for a while. I'm going to move... What I was planning on doing was having all of the beds up here and maybe even having another floor actually going a massive... Actually, that's probably what I should do. One floor that goes straight up and then one floor that overhangs. It might look a little strange, but hey... Um, spread them out a little bit and then have a communal kind of food and living area down here for them to sort of hang around in. And I, I wanted to keep the generators reasonably far away. I haven't built walls this time. No, I, I know. Which, of course, does mean there's some element of risk. I, thing is, this place is actually really a big site. This is actually a huge site. So we just want to get started, really. We just want to get started, get a place for them to actually uh, start living in. We've got four people already. We've got four people. We've got six food. I am going to need to plant some more food, I think. Um, 
for now. Actually, let's let's do. Oh no! I tell you what. Let's do water. Let's get water sorted out. And I'm thinking. Mind you, that's that's a one way. T that is a one way ticket to getting attacked, isn't it? I, I don't know. It, it's sort of see, that seems a little. That produces ten, which for now would be enough. But long term, I just I kind of I always like to build for long term. All right, and I need a lot more power. Um, probably going to be having unpowered defenses for a while. Okay, so I now have water sorted, bed sorted, um, it's food I need to look at next. I say we just plant, well they like gourds don't they, they do like gourds, I've got corn. Corn I always need more of, potatoes are what I actually need. The thing is, is I've been told that they, they're supposed to... Where's my tato plant? Oh, there it is. They're supposed to harvest stuff and put it in the storage, and I can share it between uh, settlements. Never seems to happen. If I go to one of the settlements with tatoes now, I can pick them and get loads of tatoes. Loads of tatoes. But never, never when I, uh, uh, when I come to my um, inventory workshop, do I actually have that option? Right, so you've got 12 here. We're going to need a lot more than that. Um, where to place them is the big question. And what to place. Corn produces five. Honestly, mute fruit seems to be the most... Um, I'd say space-friendly. Let's just put... Okay, so that's... One set of mute fruit. Gourds. You've already got gourds. And then let's have a set of corn. I am going to move these. I'm definitely going to move these. I definitely want to find a better place for them. Okay, so now it's time to actually just sort the defense out. We need some defense to... Mind you, I'm going to need a lot more than this. Question is, what size we can get fives? Okay, we can actually get sevens. Okay, right. So these don't need power, so I'm gonna want a few of these around. Is that another seven? No, it's a five. You know, I've kind of got the basics going. I've got enough water. In fact. And then some. I'm a little worried that actually I'm pulling in too much water right now. Maybe I should drop the production down a little in the water department just for um, security's sake. But I've got water. I've got enough food to feed up to 18 people. It's probably going to be a while before we hit greater than 18. I've got... Almost a hundred defense. I've got a couple of laser turrets. I've got... A, do I have a laser turret over there? Oh, I don't think I've got a laser turret over here. I'll tell you what, let's make one more heavy laser turret. I don't have a missile turret yet, but I don't really have any placements I'm happy with. So... Let's just... So I've now got 106 defense. Which is not particularly brilliant. But I don't want to just keep laying down turrets on the floor. And that's essentially what I've done so far. I've got three turrets defending this place. I've got um, three turrets defending this building. And then I've got a turret hidden in there. I'll tell you what I don't need now. Don't need that. And I've got... Four turrets guarding 
this area. They're all Mark 7 turrets or heavy laser turrets, which means they're pretty damn strong. If we do get attacked, they should be able to ravage most things. It would seem like the most likely attacks are from those guys. And honestly, I think these turrets are probably equal to the job. But the place is an absolute mess. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? I really did want to do something a little different here, rather than just build a bloody wall around it in a square. And I still like the idea of having a, having a kind of a nice house that... And in a way, you could consider this is going to be reasonably secure, because... I mean, we could get attacked from down there, but they can't actually get up here. I don't think they can. I wonder if they can. Now, now, now I'm tempted to run into the water and see if I can jump up. You know what? I'm going to just... I'm already irradiated. Let's... Nope, nope. Oh, God. What the hell was that? I just... Unless they double jump. If they double jump, they may be able to do it. Um... Oh, God. Auto hot keep doing my head in if I did not need you so very, very much. So, I mean, it's reasonably secure. I don't think I'm going to need like a wall to here. I am going to build a building around here once I get enough resources. And therein lies the problem. I don't have the resources to finish this. I want to finish the building there. I want to finish making a nice sort of steel protected area here. And then what I think I'm going to do. Honestly, is actually build a wall. I think I'm going to build a wall. I don't know where, though. Yeah, probably straight up here. I'm going to build a wall straight up here. I did promise I wasn't going to make one. And I'm going to move this farm. I'm going to move this farm. We've got a lot of empty space. Oh, mind you, does that count as... I mean, that looks like sand as well, but it's probably dirt. That's sand. Probably the farm has to be somewhere with dirt. Let's see. What will grow in the sand? That is... Okay, no, apparently everything. Excellent. We've got, we've got tough plants. So, yeah, I'm going to move the food area probably around here. And then... I don't know whether I need... I mean, this is the, the thing. I guess things can swim. I guess things can swim. But what I think I'll do is I'll build some sort of defense tower here with some fairly hefty things on it. Another one here, and then build a wall like that. So it's not around the entire place. I wasn't going to build a wall originally. Maybe instead of a big junk wall... I build a metal fence that's probably, yeah, if I build a metal fence, they I'm pretty sure they can't jump over it, I'm pretty sure they can't jump over it, it still uses a lot of wood though, not as much as the junk fence though, they can't jump over it, and, and then it won't look quite as forbidding we, we want to we want to sort of guide anyone who attacks in a certain direction I'm just worried everything's a bit split up I really am it sort of feel like I want I want everything between that building this building and this building I can't move this that's the big problem I can't I can't move this I can't can't move these beds, which means they're going to keep sleeping there. Well, I suppose I could build a lot more beds in there and assign them individually. Um, I can move that. So I kind of need, I kind of need to get the wall up to about here in some way. I'm not liking this location. It's really big. It really is very, very big. But the only way I can see of making it secure is to turn it into yet another fortress. I was, I was sort of hoping to have something a little more open. I was. I guess that's just me dreaming. It's not exactly the busiest place, but there were super mutants over there. Actually, that's a good point, you know. 
There were super mutants over there and they could return. And if they could return, we're going to need bigger walls. I, I think we do that. I think at the very least, I have a fortified junk wall from here up to the road area or wherever it is we turn in. And then maybe from this way onwards, we can have a nice little wire fence so we get a bit of a view. Anyway, I think, all things considered, it's not brilliant. They've got reasonable defense, but before I start choosing better defenses, because I want to do battlements and that sort of thing, lookout posts, I need more materials. So I'm going to have to continue on my way collecting some materials. Out of curiosity, should I reassign one of them so they're not producing quite as much food? That might actually be a good idea. Instead of instead of having them produce tons and tons of food, if I if I can get one of them doing scrap for now. Where's the little lad? There's the father. Alright, here you go. You. Don't do that. We, we've got way too much. Sure. That should reduce the food to 12. That's 62 now. That's still enough for way more people than we've already got. And... I think I do another one. If I can reduce the food and water... The food and water is now 52, which is half my defense. Way below. Well, not way below, but just below half my defense. I do like to go for triple, but this is double. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, you know what? I think, all things considered, considering, they were living in an absolute hovel. They were living in that hovel of a building, this little family. And they can still live there if they want. If they really, really want. There's three beds there. Um, but they now have the option to live in a nice, spacious, well-aired little house. They've got a power station. If you work... You eat. They've got tons Simple of water, loads of crops, and a ton more defense. Not only have I killed the ghouls that were bothering them, I have set up a lot of perimeter defenses for them. I was going to say they can't complain, but um, that's not true, is it? They can complain. They probably will complain sometime shortly after getting viciously attacked by a rad roach. Oh, and I'm the type of guy who will never say